Yo, what is up guys? This is Pedro here and in today's video I'm going to bring you guys a full Redskins 2020 roster prediction. So if you guys are new, subscribe for Redskins and NFL content. So let's get into it. So we're going to be doing the full 53 man roster prediction with some potential surprise cuts. And I know I have said 55 man roster before, but it is actually 53 and you can call up a couple of players from the practice squad. 455 when it is game day but it is 53 you guys can read that rule right here i might have it posted for a little bit longer on the screen but now let's get into the roster prediction and i am doing this on august 9th so things might change just like darius guys kelvin Harmon. all these things change real real quick so first let let's start with some obvious ones that we think are going to get cut also we do have some injuries so they will have to get off the roster so of course, we're going to have to cut someone like Kelvin Harmon, who tore his ACL and is out for the season. So let us, let's go ahead and cut Kelvin Harmon because he is going to start the year on IR. We'll see when they end up putting him on there, but that is the expected uh, move. Same with Mike Ledke. I think he's going to get cut. He is a good depth, but I don't think he's good enough to make the roster. So someone else, Simone Paris, I don't think he's going to make it. And yeah, we're going to talk about some potential surprise cuts. Now, with Ruben Foster being fully healthy, that opens up the possibility of someone like uh, John Bostic or some other uh, some veteran linebackers that might not make the team. Sorry um, for stuttering there. Someone like John Bostic, like I said, Kevin Pierre-Lewis, any of those guys. Um, Donald Payne, I believe. I, I think he's not going to make it, especially after um, this news right here. So just for way, I don't think he's going to make it. Again, though, our wide receiver, our, our wide receiver core is so... Um, and that we don't have much depth there that a lot of these guys, if they do good in training camp, they could possibly make the team. So there's Paul Adams and I am, and Marcus, but I think they're going to get cut too. And I'm only doing the active roster. We'll see about possible practice squad, but I'm not going to be doing that in this video. I think Ryan B is not a lock, but he's pretty close to a lock to making the practice squad. He is pretty good. I just don't think he's good enough with our D line to make the regular roster. So that's right there. We're down to 70, so we still got a ways to go, but we, we're we moving along. So Jeremy Reeves is another guy that I think is pretty good, uh, and he's probably going to make the practice squad, but I do not think he's going to end up making the um, active roster. He could be someone that gets called up again, but that's just my take on it right there. Danny Johnson, he's another guy, possible practice squad players. A lot of these guys are possible practice squad players. Um, I think... Jared Norris is not making the roster. Richard Rodgers, yes, his father is one of the coaches, but again, I don't think he's going to make the roster unless he shows out in training camp. Aaron Colvin, same thing. Uh, he was terrible last year with us and the Texans. I do not expect him to make the team. And Peyton Barber, I still don't expect him to, to make the team. He definitely has a lot better chance than he did before. Depending on how he does in training camp, he possibly could make the roster. But again... We still have AP, we still have Bryce Love, we still have Antonio Gibson and J.D. McKissick. So for now, I'm cutting Peyton Barber, but he definitely has a realistic possibility of making the roster if he does do good in training camp. So that's another guy that possibly could make the roster. Um, Darvin Kidsey's another guy. He's a bubble guy. If he does good in training camp, um, there's a lot of these bubble guys on the roster, and he's definitely one of the uh, fringe guys who especially with our uh, weak wide receiver core, or at least depth-wise, I think he has a chance to make the team uh, and the practice squad. He could be another one of those Steven Sims types play, uh, type of players that does good in training camp and possibly makes the roster. So right there, we're down to 63. Um, Kevin Panfili, um, or Panfield, I think he has a chance to make the roster. Uh, he's good depth. He is a veteran. If someone goes down to an injury, I think he can make the team. But for now, I don't see him making the team. Same thing with Jonathan Johnson, but undrafted free agent, they need usually a full offseason, and they don't have that. So I'm not going to have him making the team. But Isaiah Wright, I do think he's going to make our team. Uh, I think he's going to be the fourth, fifth receiver for Washington. I think he's going to be solid. So the next really uh, controversial um, pick is Jordan Brailford versus James Smith-Williams. One of those guys is going to make the team, and one of them isn't, in my opinion, We'll see if someone goes down an injury, that could change um, and maybe open it up for one of them. For now, I'm going to cut Jordan Brailford, even though I like him better. I just think that um, 
they're going to keep James Smith Williams just because he uh, they drafted him. He's a pick from their regime, not the old regime like Jordan Brailford was. So again, I like Brailford better, but it's tough. He's a pick. He's a seventh round pick, just like um, just like James Smith Williams was is, but. He was drafted by Bruce Allen and them, and Ron Rivera drafted James Smith Williams. So I think that is a big difference right there. So we're down to 60, so we got to get a few more down. So we still got to get wide receiver down. I, I'm, we got to cut Trey Quinn. He again, all of these wide receivers, pretty much every single wide receiver has a chance to make this roster, but um, I just don't think Trey Quinn's going to make it. I, again, the injury to Kelvin Harmon um, and Cody Latimer being suspect or put on the commissioner's exempt list does help him out a little bit, but still I don't see him making the team. So we are down to 59 players. And um, I do believe Steven Montez is going to be cut. My guess is especially during this uh, time, they're going to need at least three quarterbacks. So what I think is either him or Alex Smith is going to be stashed away either on the practice squad or the um not Alex Smith necessarily but we're gonna have three quarterbacks but one might be on practice squad so if Alex Smith isn't a uh, healthy then it'll be Steven Montez on practice squad but if Alex Smith is even 70 percent 80 percent then it most likely will be Alex Smith in there so I'm gonna keep him there um for now so yeah there we got we got 50 58 players we got to cut down to five I think Dontrell Inman's gonna make it um, we signed him for a reason. He's a good veteran uh, receiver that is going to compete for that starting job. So I think he's going to make it. Cameron Curl, same thing. And now we get into the tough uh, situation right here in tight end. I really, really like Hale Henches, but I just I like him better than Sprinkle. I just think Sprinkle has an edge. He's a veteran. Um, he was our starting tight end last year. Even though he was not great, he was our starting tight end. So that gives him an edge over someone like Hale Henches. We'll see, though. Again, if these guys do good in training camp, he could easily make the roster over Hale, or over Jamie Sprinkle. But for now, we're going to end up cutting him. So that puts us at about 57 players. So um, the next guy that I have cut on my list is Cam Sims. And he's another fringe guy. But I think after signing Dontrell Emmon, I think Cam Sims is on his way out again, though. If he, I keep saying this with these fringe guys, but if they do good in training camp, they definitely have a good shot of making the roster. So Cam Sims is another one of those guys. He's very young. He has really good potential coming out of Alabama. And if he puts everything together, he could possibly uh, make the roster, in my opinion. So we're at down at 56. we got to get three more down. So this is going to start to get tough. But I think we're going to end up cutting Ryan Lewis. He could be one of those guys that we uh, call up, but... I'm going to end up cutting him. Uh, we signed him for quarterback cornerback depth, but uh, we have we, we got to cut someone, and I, I think he's the guy right there. So let's go ahead and cut him. So we are down to 55 players, so two more. This is going to get tough right here, coming to the, down to the wire. I think Thaddeus Moss is going to make it, James Smith-Williams. So it, it it's getting tough. we got to cut two more players, and um, it's hard to cut someone – it might have to be one of these, someone like um, Pierce Baker, because we got to get it down to 55. Or, you know what, we're going to go ahead and do one of our surprise cuts right here. It's not necessarily Bostic. It could be Bostic. It could be uh, Kevin Pierre-Lewis, any of these guys. I'm just going to say one linebacker gets cut out of these na our main guys. So that puts us down to um, 54, and we got to cut one more player. So let's go ahead and cut Ross Pierce Baker. Again, it's tough, I think. Um, yeah, let me know who you guys would cut as your last player. It's tough for me. I don't really see anyone. I'm probably missing someone very obvious. Could be Sprinkle, but I don't know. I feel like he's going to make the team. And yeah, I I can't find that last guy. But And again, it could be Alex Smith, and they could just take two guys on the roster. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, please smash the like button. Subscribe if you guys are new. And yeah, 53-man roster right here in the books. Um, well, actually, 54. But we did um, cut the last guy in Pierce Baker. But I do think he's going to make the team. But it's going to come down to someone getting injured. 
and that's probably going to get us down to 53. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, please smash the like button, subscribe, turn on those post notifications, like the video, and peace.